Hello guys, my name is Kuna and welcome once again to another episode of Terraria. And, uh, well, do you remember when I said that today we're gonna be killing the Duke Fishron? Well, about that... I don't really have a weapon with which I would be able to take him down. Seriously, I spent probably like 10, maybe even 12 hours just simply grinding out a fucking weapon from a pumpkin moon because there is like a bad scepter that can drop and it's a pretty damn good weapon to take the Duke Fish room down with. There are also numerous other weapons I've been trying to obtain such as for example the leaf blower and I don't know uh, the pumpkin sword sort of a thing, the terra blade and well, after about 10 hours of trying to grind, it wasn't 10 hours, it was more like 6 hours of trying to grind it out, I wasn't able to get a single one of those weapons. Literally, currently, the strongest weapon that I got... Why is it so dark all of a sudden? What happened? So, though, the best weapon that I got currently is the Demonic Eye of Cthulhu. Yes, it finally fucking dropped, and after it dropped, I got like seven of them. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm seriously rich. Seriously, look at it. Look at look at this. I got five platinum right now just from the Eye of Cthulhu alone. Dead shits are dropping like my sub growth throughout the past fucking month. I don't know what happened. A bag with it like tore open, and suddenly they start dropping like crazy. I don't know. But that is not the weapon I wanted. I wanted a mass scepter, and after probably like seven, I would be lying if I knew the if I said that I know the certain, the exact amount. Oh, there's an ice golem. Uh, but probably like, I would say that minimally five, at the very least, uh, five, uh, five, 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 five pumpkin moons. And the best thing that dropped from five fucking pumpkin moons was this jack o' lantern helmet. Literally, this is all that drop. Like, yeah, sure, it looks cool, but where the fuck is my bad scepter? So, though, this is the reason why today we are not gonna be killing the Duke Fishron, but I'm gonna be trying to, well, get the bad scepter, or at least something like that. And for that reason, I'm gonna have to go over to the dungeon, drop even more ectoplasm, create even more pumpkin moons, and holy shit, this looks pretty damn fucking scary. So though, I'm gonna have to go into the dungeon, drop even more ectoplasm, from which I'll cre create even more pumpkin moon minelons, and from that I'll summon even more pumpkin moons, kill even more pu uh, pumpkins, oh, and another ice go one. It's kinda funny that when I googled out this guy, I don't know, in one of the episodes if I'm correct, I've been, I've been killing this guy, I've been pretty much trying to farm these guys, um, uh, I don't know if I just got shot by another one of them. So, though, I tried to Google him out, and for some reason, the only thing that I got uh, when I Googled out Ice Golem weren't, like, actual Ice Golems. It was those, um, they were those icy thingies from Metin 2. I don't know if any of you have been playing Metin 2 in their life. I've been playing a shit ton of it throughout my life. It's a pretty damn good game, especially when you got a shit ton of time to waste. But yeah, the search list was pretty much filled with pictures of like icy bas bastards from Metin 2. I've been actually surprised by that. All right, but now to the dungeon. There we go. There's another meteor. By the way, remember uh, when like those two or three meteors dropped onto my world? Well, there's one of them. And uh, there is this second one of them. They drop pretty much right next to each other. And here is dungeon. Oh, and also there are those celestials already, so I can theoretically summon the Moon Lord by killing them. But yeah, there is a find that I probably wouldn't be able to comp accomplish right now. So let's go down over here. Let's drink a battle potion because yeah, I can't really get hurt by these dungeon monsters anymore. Are way too weak, way too weak. Also, uh, the only decent weapon that so far dropped for me were these magnet spears, spheres, which are yeah, it's a pretty damn good weapon. Let's just say. Only there's like one single thing about it, and this is the fact that you know you cannot really kill bosses with it because it is a slowly traveling orb that is like yeah, it is a 
orb of doom. It's gonna kill everything in its span. The problem is that, yeah, it's quite difficult to hit something like Duke Fishron that's traveling at 300 fucking kilometers per hour all around your asshole. Oh, hello, Moonly. Here we can see that Cirrusla has a shit ton of DPS. Just look at it. Oh, this guy, I wanna kill him. I wanna kill him, please, teleport. Hopefully he will, oh, there it is, there he is, there he is. The reason why I wanna kill him is that he can drop the spooky staff or something like that. Holy shit. I forgot that there is a tactical skeleton with his firing rocket launchers. Firing rocket launchers. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, firing rockets. And they deal a ton of damage. Alright. I'm surprised. Uh, here I can see that I seriously was dropping a lot of those ectoplasms. I'm surprised that I actually got only the first banner. I seriously killed at least 100 of them. Maybe I was offline or something. I don't know. Oh no, I haven't killed all that many of them because I wasn't lucky enough to get them to spawn. I hate the Diabolist. Like, this weapon is good against him. Is it a black belt or the... I do have a feeling like I got a plentiful of black belts and that I need ninja tabbies. I'm gonna get this helmet so I'll heal up. The healing that you get from the combination of this item and uh, the scent is absolutely disgusting. Another ectoplasm. How many am I gonna get? There is a sniper. Holy shit. You're tucked quite deeply over here. Oh. There's another one. There's two of them at once. Holy shit. Alright, I got full HP, I probably should switch the helmet already. Oh no, there's the Diabolist. I just click. Alright, I can start healing up again. Amazing. Fucking... I hate these Diabolists. They're one of the most annoying enemies in this game. Seriously, they can shoot through walls. Like, this weapon cannot shoot through walls. You can see that it just stops at a wall. Are you a motherfuck? No. Another one of them. Another one of them. <laughs> They're my bane. Seriously. Don't you dare. I nearly died. Alright. Here we go. And thank god that this weapon combination is so fucking amazing at healing. And dishing out damage into like large groups of enemies. Mm. I got seven ectoplasms. I'm gonna I'm gonna farm at least ten of them. Ten is gonna be like the minimal that I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go home, create at least like two of those pumpkin moon events, and I'm gonna summon them and show them on camera. So I'm gonna be completing at least one of them. And then in the next episode I'm just gonna finish up building up the arena so the video will be longer than 10 minutes and I'm gonna ki kill the Duke Fish run. Fights against him, fights against him are not all that difficult actually. It's not fight, fights against him. The arena building for Duke Fishron is pretty damn easy. Because you literally have to build the same kind of an arena that you have to build for like Destroyer and pretty much any other boss in the game. Alright. Hello guys. Give me some health back. 
Oh no! It hit me directly. You oh, shit. I'm slowed, but I'm jeez. For a moment there, I already thought that I'm once again lagging. Because if you are already watching me for quite some time, at least uh, these, these, these Terraria videos, you probably do know that sometimes I just start lagging for no apparent reason, and it seems as if I was like super slowed. It's not even like lagging by like FPS amount. The FPS is completely alright. The game just the game just seems to be running super slow. I got 12 of them. All right, I already got 10, but you know, since I already passed the 10 mark, it's kind of like a fucking addiction. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get fucking 15. Also, I'm already recording for 11 minutes. Hmm. I'm gonna be able to get 15 of them, and probably get like halfway. Oh, key brand. If only that item was in any way useful. Alright, let's... Oh, hello. Let's switch the helmets. I completely forgot about the fact that I can do it. This thing gives you so much more damage. And you get no healing. It mainly gives you this kind of like a special effect, which is absolutely amazing. Alright, got 14. Nothing. God damn it. Also, I'm quite a bit dumb. I forgot to use... I actually crafted some magical equipment. I don't have all that much of it. I, I got some. I'm gonna get this thing. I'm trying to kill them with a big bang. Piggy bang. Well, I guess you could call it dumb. That's certainly one way of calling it. I gotta scratch my hand. Hey. Still nothing. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that the Ebolist? 200 damage per crit. While attacking them like 10 times per second. Absolutely amazing. I love the damage this weapon had. It was... Like homing, kind of a missile thingy. It would be like sticking to bosses, it would be absolutely amazing. You know, if it actually was a magnet sphere. It was sticking to every single mechanical boss in the game. Ah, oh, there we go. Last ectoplasm. Let's go back home. And let's craft us some pumpkin moons. Where is the hallowed bar? I know that I was farming the destroyer for for a bit. I killed like two or three of them. More or less. <sighs> I do have a feeling like I need something more than this. Oh yeah, I need the pumpkins. Where are my blocks? Where are the blocks? There are the blocks. Now I actually found out that you can do this. So we won't have to like look around for items. I can create three pumpkin moons. I'm not gonna summon them right now because they're right now, it's the beginning of a day. So, yeah, that wouldn't be the greatest idea ever. Still, though, I'm gonna cut the video right here and get back to you when I'll get to the pumpkin moon. Maybe I'll even cut out a portion of the pumpkin moon that will be like boring, you know, the starting part of it. It usually gets to be super boring. Uh, I'm, in the meantime, I'm gonna get the solar tablet and throw it on the ground. Yep, I'm gonna summon it and see you in the night when I'll summon a D D D D D pumpkin.